snack Me and you gonna have a little chat about books Hi guys, so I am here today to do a book review and the book that I'm going to be reviewing is Poet Anderson of Nightmares which is by Suzanne Young and Tom Delange I believe that this is kind of part of a big franchise. Tom Delonge is part of a band and he basically set up this company called To The Stars where he is making this franchise surrounding Poet Anderson. So there are songs, there's an animation, there's all sorts of little things associated with it. I personally didn't particularly care for this book, unfortunately. I was sent it for a review from Turnaround UK, which is very nice of them, but I just did not like the book, unfortunately, and so I'm going to tell you why. Basically it's a very YA book. It does revolve around a main character who is a young protagonist and he is a lucid dreamer which means in this world that he can be awake in his dreams and he can actually make things happen in the dream world that he inhabits that will affect things in the real world. Other people might also be lucid dreamers. They can also come into the dream world and he can interact with them and they can talk and they can do things together, but equally there's bad things within the dream world such as nightmares and things that are connected to nightmares and bad people, so that's kind of interesting. I did like the idea, the concept, but I didn't feel as though the characters were developed at all. I did feel as though the main character, Poet Anderson, was just very one-dimensional. He basically is a teenager and he manages somehow to get a job at this hotel even though he's a teenager, he just happens to take over his older brother's job. The story begins when the two of them, him and his brother, get into a car crash and his brother somehow is put into a coma. He believes that his brother is not necessarily in a coma, but is stuck in the dream world. And of course, seeing as his brother is also a lucid dreamer, this is very possible. So he basically takes his brother's job, goes to school and manages to defeat all the bad guys in the dream world all at once. Kind of unbelievable, unfortunately. I didn't really connect with the main character at all. I didn't really connect with his plight. I didn't feel as though it was a convincing story because he didn't seem that upset over his brother being in a coma. He seemed like, yeah, I'm gonna go off, I'm gonna fall in love, I'm gonna do all these crazy things in the dream world. But he didn't really seem to care about his brother being in a coma that much, even though it was all, all his brother, supposedly, it still didn't really work for me. It just didn't convince me in any way. I had a look at some of the songs and some of the animation and stuff, didn't really care for it unfortunately, so for me it just it wasn't anything interesting or different, even though it has this franchise of different stuff connected to it, I still didn't really care for the character, I didn't really care for the concept. I think if it had been done well, perhaps this could have been a really good book. Lucid Dreaming and the ideas surrounding Dreaming and R.E.M. were all very interesting to me and I've always had a fascination with that sort of side of things and and the theory of whether you can know that you're dreaming in a dream. I think it could be really, really well done, but unfortunately this book in particular didn't really do it justice, and the characters were unbelievable to me that I just couldn't get connected to the story. I couldn't be on the edge of my seat or anything. I was, I was just reading it, and I just read it because it was a review book, and I wanted to see if it was going to get better. Unfortunately, the whole thing was just fairly standard. It didn't really do anything out of the ordinary, and in fact, it did some things worse than other books that I've read, so I didn't really care for it. I particularly didn't think that the love was believable because the main character meets a girl inside the dream and then he somehow doesn't remember her and she remembers him and it's instant love, which I just did not think was believable in the slightest. Maybe I'm being too harsh on this book, I could well be, but I really didn't think it was a book that I personally enjoyed. and. It wouldn't be one that I would recommend, sadly, so even though I was very kindly sent it, I'm afraid that I just have to give you my honest opinion, it was not a book I liked, and I just couldn't couldn't get involved with it, couldn't enjoy it, didn't like any of the stuff surrounding it, won't be checking out any of the other Poet Anderson stuff, personally. I would love to hear your thoughts, if you know anything about the whole To The Stars franchise, or you love the singers, or you love the animation, or anything, I'll put a link to the animation down below so you can check it out if you want. Or if you've read the book, or if you're planning to read the book, then definitely let me know. I know that Suzanne Young wrote the programme as well, which is another YA series. I actually quite enjoyed the programme, I thought it was a likeable read, but this one just really wasn't for me. I just didn't connect with it, didn't like it, so sadly this one got a 1.5 out of 5. It was not great, I did not like it. It, it was okay in terms of pacing. 
and the story was readable so that's why it got 1.5 but I just didn't like it so I would love to hear your thoughts though if you guys do like it or if you've heard of it let me know thank you all for watching and I will see you all very soon in another video bye me and you gonna have a little